The second location for a check valve in this design is in the piston head itself. Um, so if we look at this movement of the piston, the way that the overall pump will work, and it can work with just one piston, with one check valve in the piston, uh, it's just more efficient if we have two check valves, one in the bottom. With the piston moving up and down, as we do work to push the piston down, this check valve needs to open up to allow water to flow through it. Then when we pull the piston head up, we want the check valve to close and act like a bucket, pulling the water up to the top of the water pump. So going over to handy dandy Microsoft Paint, we look at this, oops, we've got our main cylinder like so, and we've got some amount of water that's in the cylinder. With our piston head like this, we want, I, I need to erase this, yeah, there we go, okay. Um, we want the piston head to open up and allow water to flow through and then to close to keep it there. So in this case, I used, similar to the other check valve, I used a uh, conical structure, if you will, like this, a cap. And then um, when water is up here pushing down, the cap will seal by pressing against these chamfered angles over here. And when we are pushing the piston head down or water is coming up, the water pushes the cap out of the way and can flow around the sides of the cap. So let's look at the 3D model of the piston head closer. So you can see that here, or if we zoom in just on the piston, here's, here's the piston head. When the piston is being pushed down through the water, the cap is being pushed up and water is allowed to flow around it. When water is above the piston and the piston is being pulled up, the cap will get pushed down, sealing shut and uh, carrying the water up with it. Just like with the, the other check valve, whether it's a cap or a ball or whatnot, we need to capture that floating sealing element, otherwise it'll just get pushed out of the way and you, it won't find its way back into the opening. Uh, in this case for the piston, we also need to have the piston attached via a pin. So I decided to, to join the two um, necessities together and have the capturing element, which is these bars, be the same part as the pin uh, where the pin attaches, the pin joint here, you can say. Uh, or in the full assembly if we look a little closer. So you can see here are the capturing elements. They're the, the overhangs. And they are all where the pin linkage and rocker assembly also attach, like so. So you push down. Water is allowed to push up through that opening. When you pull it up, it seals and brings the water up with it. That is effectively the, 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 uh, how the operation of the, the whole pump works. Push down through water, pull up, it pulls it up like a bucket out of a well. Right? That sort of simple mode. The reason that I added on this second check valve, it acts like a ladder, a, a step so that initially water can get up here and will be checked against flowing out of this main cylinder. And then with each pump of the piston head, a little bit of suction is generated to pull up a little bit more water bit by bit by bit by bit up until it gets to the main piston head. Um, with this design, we're not using very good sealing materials like rubbers. We're not using any... Um, uh, any resins, it's just plastic on plastic, which will make a seal to some extent, 
uh, but a very poor seal. So we want to use everything in our arsenal to, to give some stepping action to, to pulling the water in.